energy is getting very expensive. Household electricity and petrol, things like that. And the world is running out of things like oil, from which uh, petrol and other substances are made. So people are looking around for cheaper sources of energy. And that's one of them up there, the sun. It's a tremendous source of energy if you can tap it down here on the ground. So you're starting to see on people's houses solar heaters and other solar devices. Well, it's a bit hard to make a solar heater of your own because, uh, well, at least one on the roof, because it requires uh, sealing and it requires glass and fairly intricate plumbing. But you can make one down on the ground that works pretty well, using old hoses and bits of black plastic and things. And here's how you go about it. First of all, black plastic because black absorbs sunlight and heat. So that traps the heat, and if you put inside that a hose pipe full of water, it'll transfer the heat into the water in the hose, and you can run it off out the end. And by using a bit of reflector, as they do in the real solar heaters, you can bounce some of the sunlight back into your hose if it happens to have gone through on the first time through. Well, let's see how we start. First of all, with black gardening plastic of this type, you've got a really good base. And it comes to you usually folded over. So if you open it up, you'll find a hinge around about there. What you do is to, to open it up, like a book, and we build the solar heater on the bottom part here. We fold that one back when we've finished the building. Of course, the wind will try and defeat you, so you'll need to make yourself a few of these things, just out of ordinary old fencing wire. They're little tent pegs, really. You can use them to poke through the plastic and hold it in place, and it doesn't then blow around. You'll need them for the plastic, for the aluminium foil, and probably for the hose. And that stops the solar heater from blowing all around the garden just as you're trying to finish it off. Well, let's anchor a couple more spots. And then we're ready for the reflective layer, which you can use out of, uh, or make out of aluminium foil. Just ordinary cooking foil does. And if it's a bit secondhand, that won't matter, as long as it still reflects. Okay, while the wind is quiet, roll some strips out and anchor them in position as you go. Of course, we're making a few holes in this plastic. No, it doesn't matter. And if there are a few holes to start with, that won't matter either. Here we go. Well, that should do it. And I'll weigh them down with some sticks so that they don't blow around while we get the hose pipe ready. And for that, you need ordinary garden hose. This stuff can get jolly stiff if it gets cold, so leave it in the sun for a while, and then it's nice and flexible. And you start with the outlet poking over there. Then you start coiling it up as tightly as you can to make a, a nice spiral um, disc right in the middle of this, which means it's sitting right on top of the reflecting aluminium. And if it starts to spring out of place, use these little hooks to hold it down. Here we go. Right, well, there are two and a half hoses in that little lot and that should hold quite a bit of water. So what I have to do is to fill it with water now, and that means going to turn the tap on until I've got some just flowing out of there. And turning the tap off again means that the hose is now full of the water, and that's the stuff we're going to heat. So we bring the black plastic over the top, the sun comes through, heats the hose, hits the aluminium foil, bounces back, heats the hose, and we'll see how we get on. At this stage, it's easier to weigh that down with bricks. And when you do weigh it down, stretch it as tightly as you can over the hose that's underneath. And that should do it. 
We'll give it about five minutes. Right, that's about seven minutes worth. And first of all, there's tap water. That's sitting on a temperature of, ooh, about, uh, about 60 degrees, I think. That's the temperature which is going into the hose. So let's dump that and see what's coming out. Oh, quite a difference. I'll collect some of that and plonk the thermometer back in and the temperature rockets up. There's uh, 70, 80, or somewhere between 80 and 90. So that's, uh, in seven minutes, about 30 degrees uh, increase already. And if we left it there a bit longer, say for half an hour or an hour, it would get very much hotter indeed. I can't do that because it would kill my lawn. But uh, I would get that temperature rise and with about two to three hose lengths in there, you'd really have quite a decent volume of water all being heated up with free solar energy.